Welcome to this guided breathwork meditation. The goal of this breathwork is for you to relax your physiology and to after bring in an affirmation to increase your energetic vibration. So start by getting really nice and comfortable, rolling your shoulders back, moving your head from side to side. And as you breathe in through your nose, consciously bring that breath all the way to your lower belly and hold it there for just a moment and exhale fully. We will repeat the cycle of breath work and I will be counting for you four counts in, four counts hold, four counts out. We will then proceed to bringing that breath to your solar plexus and then into your heart. So breathe in through your nose. One, two, three, four. Hold. One, two, three, four. Exhale fully through your mouth. One, two, three, four. Breathe in. Hold. Exhale fully. Breathe in. Hold, exhale fully. Now breathe into your solar plexus, allowing your rib cage to expand fully. Hold, exhale fully, making sure with each exhale your shoulders are low and they are dropped. One more time, breathe into your solar plexus. Hold it there. Exhale fully through your mouth. One more deep breath in through your nose. Hold. And exhale fully through your mouth. And now allow yourself to breathe into your heart. Hold it there for just a moment and exhale fully through your mouth. One more deep breath right into the heart. Hold. Exhale fully through your mouth. Final deep breath into the heart. Hold it. And exhale fully through your mouth. Now that you have completed this short and effective guided breath work, open up a list of your mantras and say them to yourself out loud. A few of my favorite are, I love my body and I trust its wisdom. I love myself fully, unconditionally. I am enough. My vibration is always with love. Here are three tips to really help you incorporate breath work as micro habit. So the first tip is to understand how to effectively breathe in. A lot of times I hear that people have a hard time breathing in and that's completely natural and normal, especially if you suffer from different levels of anxiety and a lot, a lot of stress. So one thing to know is that that breath out is actually a lot more important than that breath in. So if you find yourself having a hard time breathing in, place an emphasis on your breath out like this. So take a small breath in, hold it, and then when you breathe out, breathe out with intention. And just force a little bit more of that breath out. That's going to help you take a deeper breath in. So do it with me. One, two, hold. Because every time you breathe out, you give your body and your mind an opportunity to let go. And every time you let go, you're able to take a deeper breath in. So once you get that breath work part done and you're able to breathe in normally, hold it for four to five counts and then exhale for four to five counts, generally just focusing on the intention of the direction of your breath and just 
noticing your breath going in your nose, being held within your body in a specific area, whether that is your lower belly, your solar plexus, or within your heart. And as you breathe out, noticing that breath coming out is enough to bring you to the present moment. But sometimes you need a little bit more. And I like to do that by staring at the trees, so getting really grounded with nature, or having a crystal. For example, I have this amethyst crystal right on my desk, so when I stop to do my breath work, I can just look at all the intricate elements of this crystal. Another element that can help you get really grounded are essential oils. This, for example, is just my own little creation. I put a couple of drops of lavender mixed with filtered water. I mix it, spray it, smell it, and that's my trigger. As I go to breathe, there's an automatic relaxation that goes with my body because of the associations I've made to the scent. You can do this with many different essential oils. Find the one that's best for you. Now, the third tip, and arguably the most important, in order to build any habit, and especially this super effective micro habit, make it easy and accessible. I have, for example, that amethyst crystal on my desk. I have the essential oil spray on my desk. The trees are right outside my window. And I also put an alarm in my phone, in my calendar section, to come up four to five times a day. Well, I have it five times. <laughs> I don't have it four or five times. And I have copy pasted my mantras of the week or the affirmations that I have. And I shared a couple of them with you as I did my breath work. So as my alarm, it goes off at 10 a.m., 2 p.m., I believe, 3 p.m., 5 p.m., uh, 8 p.m. and 10 p.m., okay? So five times that for me is perfect. Think of what combination works for you. So when that alarm, that calendar reminder comes up at 10 a.m., I remember, hey, it's time for me to do my one minute of breath work and to read my mantras or affirmations that I had planned out for that month. So take the time to schedule it in. Don't wait until you have to do the breath work in order for you to do it. It is so rewarding to just make this a micro habit. I can't tell you how much it helps myself. It has helped my clients. And it's just one of those little things that help you calm down on a physiological level, bring you to the present moment and reaffirm everything that you want to manifest in this life. So that's it. That's all. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you click that like button and make sure to share this with a friend. This breath work is something everyone can do. So tag a friend, send the video to a friend and let me know what you think when you do it for a couple of weeks or maybe even just a couple of days or maybe just one day of doing it five times a day and tell me how fantastic it feels. And I can't wait to hear from you and to see you next week on my next video. Bye.